right guys, welcome back. On today's video, we're gonna break down the pros and cons of the Easy Lift Topper System on my 2023 Toyota Tundra. Let's get into it. It's gonna take right around 30 seconds to actually get this thing lifted and into place, which is pretty quick. One of the biggest questions that I get out there, um, and after three years of actually using this, I've noticed that along this seam here, water can make its way into the truck bed. The main places you're going to have issues with water getting into the truck bed is along the seams, the top of the bed here, and in the corners. Now, there is going to be a little bit of gap here in the bottom where you see where lights coming through. That also means rain could potentially get in. It's going to go to the corner of the bed and then leak out through the little weep holes that they usually put in. Something to be aware of. Now again, you can alleviate that by just making sure that you're parked level and also making sure that all these seams are pretty tight and where the connections are made that everything's nice and snug through there. One thing I like to do, especially if I know we're gonna get a heavy rain and I'm concerned about water getting in here, which nine out of 10 days I'm not, I will go ahead and just lower this topper down for the night and basically just reduce this gap so that way if it does rain or the rain comes in sideways, it's gonna alleviate a lot of that water getting in here. So it's not a completely water sealed system, but this canvas material is very waterproof that in itself is not gonna allow water get, to get in. All right guys, so we're gonna crawl on in here. As you can see, I'm about 5'9". Do I have to crouch a little bit? Yes, not a huge deal for me. I built this out so I have a little bit of walk space in here. This just gives you plenty of height, and if I'm not mistaken, it's right around 19 inches of additional height. So this When you get in here, the windows, they just unzip and you're left with this no seam screen in place here, okay? Um, if you do need additional ventilation, you can just unzip that actual mesh screen. Same thing for this side. And I like to keep these things open. Um, especially when I don't have all the lights on, keeps all the bugs out with the screen up. Really good system and it's really clean. Comes time to put this tailgate piece in, which a lot of days I actually don't even use. I will use this setup if I'm, if I'm gonna be set up at camp for multiple days and not moving my truck. If you do wanna break this down, all it is is a couple of poles, one here, one there, and then one that actually holds this little lip over. Um, if you were to take all that stuff out, you would just undo these here, undo that. And this thing actually can roll itself up into the top of your topper and get Velcroed in there. So that way you can just keep it in there. Whenever you get to camp, you can drop it back down and set it back up. So when it comes time to the end of your camping trip and you're ready to pack this thing back down, you always want to make sure that these windows are zipped up. It's going to make it easier for everything to kind of tuck back into place once you start lowering it. Another thing we're going to be really careful about when we go to lower this is to make sure that there's nothing that's going to get hung up in between your topper and the truck bed when it's on its way down. This is where we're going to get to the first or the second thing that I kind of consider a uh, an inconvenience if you want to call it that is that when you do go to lower this you are going to need to stop halfway <coughs> excuse me walk around the truck and tuck the canvas sides in just a little bit now over time these things will develop a little bit of memory so it will actually kind of start to tuck itself in as it gets lowered and you'll see that here shortly again guys we're just going to use this little uh this remote control box here it's pretty uh, dummy proof. You have to hold the red button in down and then before you can actually lower it. Do you need to be up inside of here? No. I like to be up in here because I do have stuff that's staged in here. So I just make sure that things aren't getting uh, caught up. Once the topper system has been lowered all the way down, you can tell there's just a flawless seam and the truck bed topper will sit exactly as it would as if it were installed without it. So really slick design. 
you'll see right here it's nice and clean like I said I will keep this box that lowers it and raises it right here tucked in these actuator legs actually have a spot for it to mount to I might end up figuring something different out but this is easily accessible and it's right here at the tailgate and it's attached to a piece of cable so it has quite a bit of movement you can bring it all the way out here you do have to hold this red button down and hit the button at the same time for it to actually do what it wants to do and that's just a safety feature which is really cool so you don't have to worry about accidentally lowering this thing or raising it all right guys honestly as far as this easy lift topper system goes i don't really have a whole lot of bad things to say about it the two things that i really mentioned in here about the water and then having to tuck this tuck the sides in a little bit during the lowering those are pretty minuscule in the grand scheme of things and ultimately i would buy this system again it's not a break make or break situation for me all you have to do is think about how you're going to utilize this system for me i bought it specifically to camp and live out of so i built my entire system to facilitate a little bit of water getting in there and everything else that i mentioned for those of you who are wondering about having a rack or awning or any additional weight on top of the topper with this system you don't really have to worry about it this whole system can hold up to about 900 pounds so that's going to include your topper and anything that you might have on top of the roof my setup i have the ovs nomad 270 awning which weighs around 70 pounds that added to the topper at maybe 450 pounds total give or take so it's completely capable of holding plenty of weight for what most of us are going to need on top of this uh, on top of these toppers guys i really appreciate you guys checking out this video um, hopefully you guys learned a few things if there's something in this video that i didn't cover and you want to know some more about drop them in the comments below i pretty much respond to everybody's comments or at least i try to uh, don't hesitate to reach out and i will see you guys on the next one all right love y'all mean it